Hi, welcome to this Excel and PowerPoint video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a combo chart in PowerPoint using an Excel data. So let's get started. Before we move further, I'm going to encourage you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. So the first thing we want to do is to prepare our data in Excel. Therefore, let's head over to Excel. In here, we have this big data set formatted officially as an Excel table and we have created our named ranges. So let's proceed to the result sheet. Over here, we want to create total sales by sales manager and order year. So let's use some GA functions. So equal sign sort and unique dynamic array functions. Then I'm going to recall the sales manager named range. So I press sales manager, then I press my tab key, then I close the parenthesis control enter. Let's do the same thing for the year. Now this is delivered in each of the rows. So the order year will be delivered in columns B, C, and so on. And because of that, I'm going to use the transpose with sort and unique functions. So equal sign transpose and then type in sort and the unique. And then I'm going to recall the order year named range. And then I close the parenthesis three times, control enter. That gave us the 2013 to 2015, which speaks to the neighboring columns and the sales manager speaks to the neighboring rows. So let's use the power of some if this function. So sum of ifs, then the sum range is the total named range, and the criteria range one is the sales manager, and the criteria one is the unique value in cell A2. F4 A1, 2, 3, 2, lock the column A. And then for the criteria range two, I'm going to type in the order year. Then for the criteria two, I click on cell B1, and I'm going to lock the root reference by pressing F4 key one, two, close parenthesis, control, enter, control C, and then let's paste control V absolutely cool. Control shift four to apply the currency in your specified original settings, and I get to read the decimals. Cool. Then I'm going to create the grand total here because I need that in my chart and then I can do alt equal control enter then I just send it down with the field after the code. So we have achieved our data preparation. Let's go back to PowerPoint. Go to PowerPoint. Now we have this blank slide as I said. So I click on the insert type of ribbon and under the illustrations group I click on the chart and then I click on the combo and then I just click on OK. So this will give me the sample data coming in Excel. OK, so this is the sample data. So what I'm going to do is to edit the data in Microsoft Excel. So I click on that and then the data is in Microsoft Excel. Now the data officially is in an Excel table. So we have this little indicator, this triangle telling us that this data is in, in an Excel table and also we can see the table design context on the tab. That's fine. So I'm just going to come in. Now the first, first I'm going to do is Ctrl C. So let me get rid of the formulas and then let's go back. Let's copy it again and come to our chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. So I, I'm just going to come in and I paste that's all I need to do. Now the table has expanded to get all my data accurately. That's pretty fine. Then I come here and close this and let's go back to the PowerPoint. Absolutely cool. So our combo chart is actually ready but we need to do some little modification because I actually want all the years to be in columns while we have the grand total to be the line chart. So I come to the change chart type in here, I'm going, to, I'm going to put all the year in the line chart back to column chart. Okay, so close that column and I move this one to close that column. And let's do the same thing with 2017. Close that column. And then we want the grand total to be in line chart. And then we need to put it on the secondary axis. So I'm just going to change the secondary axis. And that is cool. Then I click on OK. 
absolutely amazing so we have our combo chart looking nicely then we can final note i'm just going to come to this design tab and let's choose wonderful thing that i love so much so i click on this and absolutely cool so we have our data ready that we can use in our presentation you can just rename this by putting you know, this chart type too let's rename this sales Sales manager and order year. Okay, order year, and that's all we need to do. So we can use this in our presentation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, again, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon because there's a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.